Salutations, salutations, salutations. Welcome to another installment of your favorite show, The Dale Ryan Report. I am Ryan Humor and... Hey, man, it's the ever so clever, the man with many endeavors, your favorite podcast host, Mr. Bowdell Tan. Peace and love. Hey, man, prosperity and purpose. Okay, I like Feel that. me? Purpose. Sound like you just had to think of something real quick, but... Nah, it's directly related to what I want to talk to you about. Prosperity oh, and purpose, okay. right? You know, because... You can prosper by making investments, but you want to make sure that you make investments purposeful. Okay. You want to be purposeful in your investments. So should you just go and just buy like a digital coin that's online because Elon mm -hmm. Musk told you it was a good idea? No. They'll listen. At one point at Bitcoin's highest, it was uh, 65 bands per coin. That was gotten as low as 20,000. Okay. People are jumping off of roofs. Shit's going real, real bad for crypto. Selling butt. Selling butt. Um, a, lot, a lot of people are like, uh, people are like buying liquidated crypto as people are like getting rid of it. They're like dumping it out. Other companies are buying it because it'll go back up eventually is what they feel like. Elon Musk is being sued for um, talking about, for even like putting it out there where like saying like Dogecoin was like the move and so on and so forth. He's being sued for $200 billion. Mm -hmm. Obviously probably not going to get all that, but it's class action. You know what I'm saying? Then I say all that to say, and here's the thing. This is the way I feel about this. I just want to, I want to put this out here. At this point, at this point, I believe that crypto is a scam. Mm. And not a scam, and not a scam in the way that like scam, not like a, not a scam not in like the way. A, like your car, getting your card information, calling you and saying that they want to send you, you got to send money to Africa. We got a bank account, but we just need to get a little bit of money. Yeah, not like that. Because, not scam. like that because I don't believe, I don't believe that it was supposed to be a scam. Mm -hmm. But I think what happened was that it became, it became a vehicle for a scam. And I'm gonna put on I'm gonna put on my foil hat right now. Back in the day, Reagan was like, "Hey, we are gonna put this crack in Oakland, and we just gonna destroy the whole culture." And I think what they're doing right now, this crypto thing, is having the whole culture dump money in this crypto thing. Cause now we got some bread. People got a little bread. People got a little bit of bread. Mm -hmm. They financially wise. We read more. We watch more YouTube videos. People investing in their homes. People starting their own businesses. Now people got a little bit of surplus. People aren't so quick to sell grandma's house no more. They got equity in their cribs. Getting credit better, all the shit. You see right, all right, of right. it. And I think now it's like, hey, you know what we could do? Let's have some of these rappers talk about this shit in the songs. And in that way, we can have these people dump more and more money into this shit. Because I'm watching some of the feedback from a lot of this happening. And people are like, yo, buy the dip, buy the dip. You know, buy the dip. Like, it's getting lower. Buy the dip. It's the, we going shopping. Crypto's on sale. That's the common thing people say for stocks. That's like if Costco dropped $150 stock today. I think Costco's at like... Costco's are like 470 right now. Mm -hmm. If they drop, if Costco dropped to 150, yeah, Costco stock is on sale because Costco ain't going nowhere. If you, right. if you, if your parents been been paying Costco membership uh, as long as you've been alive, they're not going nowhere. They do a, they do a certain thing no one else can do. You could buy a Costco stock on sale. This shit though, I think it's a hustle. I think it's a scam. I, I'm sorry, y'all, and I know this is the whole move. And I, I know, I know this is the whole move. But before I go a little bit further, before I go further in this, I want to know. You tell me what you think. All right, that's a good point. I mean, I do, I can see why you think it's a scam. And in a lot of ways, um, I don't think, I don't think it's a scam. What I think happened is, I think like, like the way time is moving, it moved, time moved too fast for that. And, and what I mean by that is, is basically like they, they, like crypto been around for a minute. A minute. Right? A minute. But the way, technology is the way time is things move too fast for motherfuckers to get on and be and it the 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 that the timing of people talking about it is too late they're talking they weren't really bumming it up when it was good enough time for you to really jump in and make moves on it and a lot of times the way that especially the people who happen to already have financial wealth they can talk about things that a little bit differently about how they're moving with crypto because they're pulling their shit out. They're doing shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I think one person put a little bit of money in. Was this Elon? He put a little bit of he money in. He put a little in, bit of money in, took it out. And then took it out. Yeah. Right? Because he could do that. So he went in, gained, probably gained like, because he probably put a shitload of money in, turned that around, probably gained whatever interest he could off of that, took that shit out. And then, you know, it, that's what he did. He, it, he basically re-upped on some shit. Right. He did a re-up. He basically said, okay, yeah, let me buy that zip real quick for 180. I'm going to go flip that shit, get 280 from it. I'm going to take my hundred out and I'm going to put, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But time moves so fast, right, that now 
it's like you just re up and all of a sudden they legalize weed. And niggas can go, and now niggas can go in and go and go to go to dispensaries and get weed for free. And they give, and because they and because they done legalized it, the shit then became so saturated yeah. that now they done gave discounts at the dispensary club that you can't offer right now. Right. So you know what I mean? And that's what I think happened with crypto. Crypto just it, it moved to a time too slow. So now when a lot of these people are catching up on shit and they're like, oh, the crypto, do 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 Jay Z or these niggas talking about it, such and such talking about it, this person talking about it, Elon talking about it, but it's like. You ain't really ready to move like that. You should have moved like that when they was finding out. You got to be on shit before it hits the media sometimes in order for you to really be beneficial. From of course. It. Yeah. So, and that's what I think happened. It's like people get on this shit late and then because media is so fast and once it's out, it's like it's like when they was doing the AMC shit, when the AMC shit happened when, with the stocks. Yeah, yeah. And, and once everybody found out through Reddit, oh, this is happening? Everybody started putting money in. So then that day, the shit was out of control. Right. So that's how crypto was. Once people started talking about it more, the shit started getting so out of control. This is out of control. They, this is what the plan was with crypto. I'm going to be real with you. This is what the plan was. This is just my thought. It's a theory. I mean, I said be real with y'all. Like, I got inside information. But metaverse. All of this shit was supposed to fit into that. Right, right. So with with Mark Zuckerberg, he was trying to come out with Metaverse. You was going to really be trying to live in Metaverse. And that's where your crypto coin was going to really be so much beneficial in all of this shit. Facts. But that shit took a little bit of time because he's really... Now, this is starting to push. It took time yeah. from when he went and did this whole, like, TED talk about Metaverse yeah. and then came back around. People are now just now getting onto this shit. Okay. So because of that, now it's like, it's, it's too late because now the whole thing in Metaverse is buy stock in Metaverse. Yeah. So 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 now it's like, oh, I should buy stock in Metaverse so that way people can come on and then they can advertise my shit throughout the Metaverse. And this is where people are going to live and people are going to do because they really think life is going to be like that movie, Player Ready One. So, I just think everything moved on too late. I, I'll give you that. I know what you mean by, like, sometimes sometimes things, sometimes, like, foundations are developed before you can see what they are. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, my uncle, uh, my uncle in Point Richmond, he's got a crib or whatever. He built it in, like, 92 or whatever, right? And he's, he's, a, uh, he's, a, he's a tech contractor. In every single one of the rooms, there's an Ethernet cord. Mm -hmm. In 92, like, it's an office building. Who'd have thought to have that? He has he has like fiber optics in this house. Facts. That's 92. Dope. That's fat. That's like, dope. bro, like, you know what I mean? So it's like it's, that's fat. That's, that's, that's so, smart. That's Boy, right. That's so and there's other stuff in there that's like outdated, but for the most part, the house was before its time. So I can see how like Mark Zuckerberg's trying to get this metaverse thing popping and like when Facebook ain't what it was 10 years ago. Right. You know what I mean? So I do see how I do see how like some type some type of crypto can be used in that. Like some type of crypto will be used in that. Yeah. Like using the blockchain. But I think like particularly all these random ones that niggas were just creating. I I feel like that overall was like a hustle and still is a hustle. That's where it to get up the, to get the culture to put their money into that because like you said once a, once enough people know about a hustle it's not a hustle no more right. that's why it's kind of like when it's, it's like when it's like everyone had a friend everyone had a friend that was making a bunch of money on Uber or Lyft or you delivered food and you was making bread i used to drive for postmates at one point i drove for postmates i made bread after a while was not the hustle no more. Mm -mm. I have friends that drove Uber and Lyft. After a while, was not the hustle no more because it became sad. oversaturated. Yeah. So and then by mm -hmm. what happens is that like by the time by the time you get on, oh they do the thing where Lyft to pay for your car, go get a car through Lyft, get a car payment yeah, through Lyft. Fucked off. And now you're a slave to Lyft. Yeah. On Juneteenth, you know what I mean? Yep. And it's too late to get out, but you're late on it. So is that was that a scam on Lyft? Then? Was it a scam on Lyft's end? No, but was it good for you? No. no. You know no. what I mean? So but this is kind of like when I see people like oh we got to buy the dip, got to invest in it. It kind of bothers me because the whole point, the whole point in like in crypto and Bitcoin and everything was like it was supposed to be stabilized enough to not be dictated by what the dollar is doing. But while we're having, but since since America gave everybody three thousand three thousand dollars a month for X amount of months, people took that money that didn't need money and invested that into crypto. Now that we're at inflate, now that we're now that things have inflated the highest inflation in 50 years, the value of crypto is going down because the value of the dollar is also going down. Yeah. Originally, this was supposed to be something that wasn't regulated by the dollar, but it is regulated by, re regulated by the dollar. So what are we doing? What are we supposed to It's point? backwards. It's backwards. No, yeah, it's completely backwards from what you told me it was, from what they told it, said it was. Yeah. It's like, it's just like, it's really, 
it's really serendipitous that this just happened with StockX as well. Mm-hmm. Where people found out like StockX, StockX is selling fake shoes. But StockX is supposed to be the people that verify that you're buying real shoes. StockX selling fake shoes? <laughs> bro. StockX selling fake shoes, bro. It's like going to Planned Parenthood and leaving with chlamydia. Like, bro, I thought y'all supposed to be. I thought that was a cure to shit. <laughs> How so, do you go to Planned Parenthood and go come back with chlamydia? That's what I'm saying. I'm like, <laughs> it's like, what was that? Would you trying to fuck the nurse? She had chlamydia. You went to get tested and she gave you chlamydia. That's wild, bro. I know, right? That's, that's what I'm saying. So I, I just put, and I, I feel like it'd be these things, there's these things that like seep into the culture that they tell us and like we move on it. Yeah. And like, for example, in 2000, 2011, when how it was like the perfect time to buy a crib because the inventory, the inventory was hella high, and they're basically like giving away houses. The inventory was high as shit, but there was like hesitancy in buying a home because so many people lost their houses. But people lost their houses because they were overcommitted. Yeah, like you, you, you bought a house, you bought a house on like a balloon rate mm-hmm. on declared income. Jumbo rate. What that means is that you bought a house that cost five hundred thousand dollars. And your declared income was a hundred thousand because you told them you made a hundred thousand working at McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> and the mortgage broker was like, "Fine, yeah, fine." But now, but what happened is, so that can't ever happen again for anyone that's bought a home. You know that now they want blood samples, they mm-hmm. want all the stuff, they want to know where all your money came from. You can't move no money while you're in process, all that. But there was so much hesitancy, like, "Nope, not gonna buy the house. No, 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 not gonna buy the house. No, 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 no." I was like, everyone, I, everyone I heard that from sounded stupid. I was like, you know, Ryan, I'm just I, let me be Ryan and do what I'm gonna do. Yeah. So I bought my crib. Then I had friends that was asked. I was like, damn, I should have. I should have had, man, I should have, I should have had, damn. And these same friends complain about how high rent is now. But in 2011, y'all want to listen to everyone who was flooding these whack-ass ideas into our courts. Like, don't buy no house. Mm-mm, don't buy it. Mm-mm. Save your money. Put your money in the bank. And now it's worth less. So I feel like there'd be these messages that they just be seek, that they just seep in there. Like, oh, get on this crypto. Invest. How about just go buy some Coca-Cola stock? Right. I yeah, buy buy shit that's been around. Like, I mean, that's really the best thing to go do is like, like look and find shit that's gonna have longevity. And I think the but my other point to that is is that it was the aesthetics of how it looked with crypto. Yeah, man, crypto, it's sexy. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Crypto looked very sexy. Like, I'm in here spending money right here on crypto. Like, that ain't like regular investments. That's not like regular regular investments is, yo, at 65, you're gonna be able to take this out and you're gonna be rich. That's the that, but that's the that's the perception, that's right? That's the perception of they yeah. be seeping into the culture. Then yeah. that's weird because nobody knows that like Amazon stock, Amazon stock just split mm-hmm. two weeks ago. Amazon stock was, I believe Amazon stock, I believe, was 2500 And it split 20, it split 20 or 25 to 1. You can buy Amazon stock for hundred dollars right now. All of y'all have Amazon. You can buy Amazon stock. Yeah, y'all, pay, y'all done paid them with your, with your prime. More than 100. You done you can, 10 months for a whole year. You done paid them that. Apple, Apple, stock, Apple stock split, Apple, Apple stock split Apple last stock. summer. It split from 600. I remember when you told me A 6 that. to 1. And it's a 129 now. You have an iPhone, but now I'm about this unknown shit that Nas mentioned in Sorry Not Sorry with Jay-Z. And while Nas and Jay-Z is playing poker at Sorry Rapid Sorry Not Sorry, while DJ Khaled's at the poker table and Nas talk about crypto, I want to be like, Nas, no! No, you don't get to do that. It's funny because I remember <laughs> when we did an episode and we talked about how the wrong motherfuckers was asking us about crypto. Right, right. The wrong people was asking about, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, like, what's the, you ain't going to talk about crypto yet? Like, crypto, nigga, like, nigga, you don't even pay your regular bills. How the fuck you on man? Crypto? <laughs> nigga, you got to be about some shit. Nigga, you need to, huh? <laughs> you got life insurance. Hey, bro, like, crypto. <laughs> and that's your invoice on your jobs 401k. Don't they match? Yeah, but I'm trying to do crypto. How about you worry about your 401k match? Do my job match? You don't know? Yeah. Oh, I don't know if it match. If, as a matter of fact, if your job ain't offering you crypto, that's what good start to think about. Because your job will offer you a lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, when shit is good, like yo, we got some, we got some crypto stock over here. If they start arguing, that's when you know it's good. Like, oh, okay, good. we need on crypto because that shit. They, my job offering me that yeah, shit. Yeah, that's real. Like, but if your job ain't even trying to talk about no crypto, niggas ain't like, yo, we got crypto stock. If you want to get in, because your job, good jobs. Let me not be clear. Let me not. You nigga, if you work putting signs on doors, that's probably not gonna offer you <laughs> signs. Like, <laughs> like, my job will offer me nigga health benefits, let alone that. But like, signs on just doors. Signs, nigga, like you know. These are dry cleaner signs. Dry cleaner signs, <laughs> just nigga, any sign, nigga, like nigga, <laughs> shop down the street. Nigga. If you work with sign with signs. <laughs> 
<laughs> you probably ain't gonna get the same benefits. But if you work for a good company, bro, and you know you got a good company and they got equity and shit in businesses, and they ain't talking about like, yo, you wanna convert some of this to crypto? Probably ain't the shit. You know what I mean? Like, and it's just good to look into. And a lot of y'all don't even know what it was. A lot of y'all niggas just put into it like crypto, nigga, look. And then they got too many apps for it. Like, it's too many apps. Like, little shit like that ain't right. Like, it's almost like, it's almost like Atkins diet. Too many motherfuckers doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's a, and it's one of those things, too, where it's like, it's an unrealistic situation where people that are big fans, now nah, I won't say people that are big fans, because it's like two schools of thought. Some people want to keep it unregulated, and then some people are like, no, we got to regulate it, because like, people are just doing anything they want. Yeah. Like, it's, it's too wild out here. It's too wild. You know what I mean? Like, at least at the bank, you're FDIC insured. So if some shit pop off, they, they got to pay you back up to $250,000. But other places... And when you invest. Huh? Now when you invest. No, but at your bank. Just at your bank. Yeah, yeah, at your bank. At your bank. bank. Yeah. But because the Bitcoin, no matter where you put it at, whatever, no matter where... No matter you, what, it it's just, just there. Yeah. It's just there. And we're, not, and we're not really sure what to do with it yet. To your point, to your point, once the metaverse opens and you can, like, purchase things with it, like, mm -hmm. oh, this costs this many coins, this costs that many, then you can purchase things with it. But people are just putting money in there, like, sitting on it, waiting for it, waiting for it to be something exactly. with no direction. That's the problem. That is. That's that's nobody my... knows. Nobody has no idea what's really on. What really what it really is gonna be beneficial for to this day, as long as it's been out, nobody really has like even the motherfuckers who can pitch you crypto, they don't really know where it's going. Nobody has an idea where it's going. This shit might end up that you can that is literally moon money. You know what I'm saying? It's only money you can spend on the moon. <laughs> nigga, like, like, this is the only way money, we only use crypto on the moon. Like, that's it. And then it's like, okay, well, nigga, now I should invest it because I'm going to the moon every six months. But what if you can't even get to the moon? That's what I'm saying. That's what I mean. Like, if it's money for Atlantis and you were going to spend it with Aquaman, but you yeah. can't get down there, what are you supposed to do with it? You know what it could be? You know what it becomes? Pesos. It does. It's pesos. That you ne that you never go to Mexico again. Like I'm just saving these in case I go to Mexico. Like in case you know I, I know I live in Canada, but if I might go to Mexico once. Like, and that, and that's the thing, right? Like you have the, you have this Mexico money, but you I know got Filipino much, money, pesos. And you know you know how much it's worth based on like the comparison to the dollar, right? Mm -hmm. So you you can spend it in a different place, but it's not worth anything differently. Yeah. So I'm saying like so eventually when it all falls down and it's moon money, like, I got my moon money. You gonna hold on to that? No, I just, I'll, I'll just change my hundreds when I go there next time. You should hold on to your when You have it with you next time you go. Now nah, I don't like carrying this shit around. It looks stupid. <laughs> just a picture of the moon on there, like all the coins are the same size. It's, yeah, it's, just, a, it's just a big ass coin. That's like, <laughs> feels stupid. I hate holding these. <laughs> and each, each, each Can one, I get a soda? Yeah, can I get a soda? Each one is worth fifty cent and shit. Like why I gotta carry this around? It's stupid. Nobody. They start, they start making wallets for crypto. Like that's stupid. That's stupid. It's ridiculous, man. It's crazy. <laughs> no, I mean it won't get to that point. It'll be more like crypto gonna be something like basically where you take your wallet and you tap it on some shit. It's gonna be like it's gonna be a card for it, and it's gonna have a certain amount of crypto on it. Pass. Right. Fast, man. Yeah, I feel you. I mean, here's I mean, for all of y'all. For all of y'all that's still stunting with it and made a great move before losing your butt. Yeah. Congrats. Congrats. For those of y'all still losing your butt, I mean... You lost it. <laughs> do what you got to do. Your butt is gone. Your... Mike said it best. Your butt is mine. <laughs> Mike said it best. <laughs> Listen, man. Hey, we're going to go ahead and hop into the music segment. Before we hop on to that, though, we got to pay a quick bill. We'll be right back. Right. Hey, man. And before, But before you go ahead and you do something else or you get ready to tune into the music segment... Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell as well. That way you stay notified for any new episodes that we drop. And also just follow our page on Instagram. You can also find us on Twitter. We also have Facebook. And we also have a motherfucking webpage now. So you can go ahead and check that out. And that puts everything that you need from the All Around Report on one whole page. You ain't got to go through all of those places. You can go to one page and find us. Anyway. We are. Bless up. <laughs> 